Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is September 27th, a very important day, because that was the day my father was born. Uh, he passed away uh, 2005, June 13th, and uh, that's a day I'll always remember, but I'll always remember his birthday over that one. Um, so he would have been 83 today. He was born 1933. It was kind of neat, the fact that, here's a little history lesson for you. My dad was born 1933, and when he was 33 years old in 1966, actually he was 32, but in the same year he turned 33, I was born in 1966, and 33 years later, when he was 66, I was 33, Benjamin was born. Cool, eh? So we're all 33 years apart from each other, technically. So that was a really cool thing to, uh, to figure out. I think when, I, when my son was born, I realized that, wow, it was like 33, 33, 33. I told him he's got to have a kid, a son, when he's 33. <laughs> uh, yeah, miss my dad. Uh, amazing man. He uh, showed us around the world with my mom. Not around the world, but we went to some pretty cool places. Uh, he loved, as somebody mentioned in the in the pictures, or I guess I put up a picture this morning. Oh, and now I see where you get your taste in shirts, because my dad loved Polynesia, uh, French Polynesian, and Hawaiian cultures, and, and just a real cool, um, I'm not sure the, yeah, the culture behind all the, the, the South Pacific type. Uh, clothing. So he loved the Hawaiian shirts, Fijian, Tahitian. Uh, they also spent a few times in uh, Bahamas. My mom's going to correct me on all this stuff. We went to Freeport. He loved Florida. So they had a place back when I was 16, 15, 16 years old. They bought a, a villa, which is like a one bedroom, really small apartment. It was a little complex of four and four with a pool in the middle. And uh, so they bought that and we went down there every year for many years. So again, I thank my parents for all that amazing fun times we had. I can't remember what year they sold it. I was, and they didn't tell me that they were going to sell it either. They tricked me. I was really upset when I found out like months after they sold it. I was just like, oh, you did what? But uh, anyway, they had their reasons, and I don't want to get into that. Ben just drove past. <laughs> Sam's looking what? I'm not sure what they're looking for. They did stay looking for something. Anyway, so I thought I'd uh, come on today. It's like 5 o'clock. First time I've had time to pick up the camera. I had to get up, get the vlog done, shot. Sorry, get the vlog sh put together as fast as possible. Edit it and put it out because I had Carl here. And we put together two shows together today for his YouTube channel. And he left at I, uh, probably around... 2.30 and then from then on I did dishes. I worked on other stuff that I had to do the whole time thinking uh, should I pick up the camera? Should I not pick up the camera? I'm not sure if I'm going to bore you the crap out of you. Three minutes and 41 seconds. Um, one other thing too guys if you if anybody lives in southern Ontario I've been thinking about this for a very long time. I get a lot of very very thoughtful very heartfelt emails from people from all over the world from people who are heavier trying to lose weight and they they love the fact that i can eat the stuff i do and exercise the way i do and, and keep as much of the fat off as possible i've got people f that have had anorexia who said they watch my videos because i make them hungry and it is actually helping them eat which is absolutely fantastic. And I also get a lot of emails and um, messages on YouTube, on my, well, through YouTube, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that people with depression love watching my show, whether it's the food stuff or my vlog stuff. Some people like to say they come home, they want to relax and they just want to hear about what I did today, <laughs> which, which is amazing, guys, and I love you for that. It's so cool to hear. But a gentleman uh, wrote me and, and he's gone through some awful depression uh, and he says my videos help him cope with his depression. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't. You guys are amazing that you tell me this stuff, but in my mind, I'm like, how do I help you? 
and it just it's just boggles my mind and i love you guys for that um i'm loving the fact that i can help people not even trying to help people i'm just like putting videos out there and it's just like and what i do helps people cope with depression or anxiety or whatever it is that they have issues with just a hard life and and uh wow it's just amazing and uh so if anybody lives in uh, the southern Ontario area, and I could probably look it up myself, but it's kind of fun uh, incorporating you guys into this stuff. We should do something and raise money for a depression. I'm not sure what, if there's an actual day of the year in Ontario that they do like a big, huge fundraiser. Like we just had the Terry Fox run that just happened not too long ago. Um, and that's a, obviously a huge thing, but if there's any charity things out there that go on for, you know, depression and all that stuff, please let me know in the comments below. Email me privately at kendomic at gmail.com. That would be fantastic. And let's either do something, uh, you know, kind of, and maybe we could do two things. I've been thinking also about doing something for Thanksgiving. I've been saving up a lot of money and possibly do something really cool for the Thanksgiving drive. If we could do something for Thanksgiving, if we also could do something for depression, that would be absolutely fantastic. Please give me some suggestions, some ideas. Don't be mad if I don't use your suggestion or idea. I read through all of them and I'm going to try to reply to everybody in tomorrow's or this vlog. Um, I only reply for about 24 hours and then I kind of like move that vlog aside and move forward because I can't go keep going back to old vlogs so I'll try my best to respond to everybody in this vlog that you're watching now um let's spice this video up okay guys let's have some fun let's open up some mail so this one is from Sandra and she was from Unionville I believe Brampton sorry so Sandra is from Brampton. I think I did get an email from her telling me what she was sending me, but I like to forget what you guys are sending me so that it's a surprise again. We've got Penguin Blue Ribbon. Ribbon. These are cool, man. I got some avoid danger, keep away from babies. I'm not gonna share this with a baby. It looks like, uh, I guess, uh, greetings from Scotland. So are you guys from Scotland? but you're living in Brampton? You're an awesome YouTuber. Enjoy these treats from Scotland. Well, there you go, they're not from Brampton. Am I, did I read the thing wrong? Let me just check that again. Brampton, is there a Brampton? From Brampton, Ontario, but they seem, oh, there's something else in there. Ah, uh, flake, I've done flake before, and I even didn't show you guys this one. Very, very cool. Let's get that out of the way, because the family's home. Gotta move faster. This one is from Steph, uh, Stephanie and Emma, and I believe they're both from Unionville. Okay, I know Sam. Gotta work fast. Ah! Got a very nice letter. Uh oh, I destroyed. Okay, this is what a bag of chips looks like. This is what a bag is, of chips is not supposed to look like. Ladies, thank you very much for sending me that. I've been wanting to try this. Carol almost picked me up some. Uh, <laughs> at uh, Swiss LA the other night, it was sold out. So, oh, I'm not sure if I should show your picture. Guys, give me permission. Hey, Ken, just for you to try Stephanie Emma, and they have a Twitter, an Instagram, a YouTube channel called Stephanie Emma. Oh, girls, I don't know if I should show your picture. Let me know in tomorrow's video or today's video if I'm allowed to show your picture. I don't want to do it and then get in trouble. Chances are you guys are fine with it because you have a YouTube channel. But let's open this up real quick before everybody comes in the house. I tell them to shut the camera off because they're doing this. This is from Paul from Japan. Paul kind of gave me a heads up as to what he was sending me. I think my daughter might steal these off me because she's into anime and Japanese stuff. Paul wrote me a letter from Critical Each Japan and he gave me three bottles of Japanese pop. And he's given me the instructions. This is one of the ones we had to push a glass ball from here into here. And uh, hello. We got that one. Oh, they're plastic. That's good. I thought they were going to be glass. They used to be glass. That's, that's plastic. And then this one. Maybe they were getting away from the from the glass ones. Oh, he, he wrote on the so sorn, so on the side, corn pottage? What the hell is corn pottage? I don't Curry, know. Curry, cream, stew. Corn. Corn pottage. Pottage? And then cream stew. That's what he wrote in English for me. Because he can speak and then we got curry. 
Unbelievable. That's going to be awesome. We'll have to do that for this week's Thursday Thursdays if I have time. Whoa! All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Uh, it's it's. I guess it wasn't going to be a short one. I thought it was going to be really a short vlog, but it's all talking, so no very cool uh, clips and, and tricks and drone shots. So I apologize for that. But uh, thanks for the gifts. I will get around to making videos for them as soon as possible. And uh, thanks again from Japan, from Scotland, from Unionville. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.